Hello, good morning. It's been uh, about actually three days already and uh, I have shot two rolls of the Provia 400X and I have uh, processed them at a uh, local lab that develops E6 um, E6 processing. Uh, each roll cost about eight dollars to process Actually, it's about ten dollars, but uh, with the student discount, they knock off a little bit, so it comes out to like uh, eight dollars for a thirty-six exposure roll of film. Um, this is the result. This is what you get, and I'll be scanning these in a minute. Also, I had some uh, six by nine medium format shots that I had developed. Uh, so it looks it looks like a big mess right now, but I'll get these scanned and uh, see what kind of results we got from the Provia 400X. I used uh, the Rico GR1V, and uh, from what I from what I see from the these positives or these slide film, um, looks pretty good. I just gotta scan them and see how the, how it looks already uh, blown up. So. Give me about uh, 10 minutes and uh, I'll show you guys uh, some results and uh, I'll be back. Thanks. Alrighty, so I'll go through these pretty quick. Um, here's a shot of downtown LA. Um, downtown. Uh, these, this film is good for nighttime. I think that's what it's intended for. Um, this is a handheld shot, no flash. And here's another one of another theater in downtown LA. Uh, again, handheld. Uh, like I said, this film was uh, really good for night photography. Um, daytime, not so well. Uh, this one sh shot at the Philippe's uh, sandwich shop. Uh, here's a uh, sort of like a self portrait of me and my girlfriend. The flash is me, and that's her camera. Here's a sort of portrait of me with the uh, with my Rico GR1. Uh, here's another shot indoors. I like this one a lot. Uh, I wish there was something in the middle to give it more of a story. But again, you can saw you can see this film was uh, pretty good in, uh, in whatever whatever light available you have. Uh, here's a shot indoors. Um, this film is not really good for ambient light inside indo indoors. Um, it kind of goes blue. Uh, but this one came out okay. I'll show you in a minute what I mean. And here's a shot of a Asian store. I live in Alhambra, by the way. Um, if you're familiar with the area, there's a bunch of Chinese here, uh, which I kind of enjoy. Uh, I like the food. <laughs> uh, here's a shot of a lady in downtown LA again. Uh, this is what I mean by uh, day shots. It, it just blows everything up, which I don't really like. Um, not good. I, I would just I would use this film mostly for night. And here's another shot of uh, indoor light again, kind of turned thing, kind of greenish blue. And here's uh, another one. Again, not really good. Um, this was in the courts. I, I was at work. Um, but that's it. All right, so I'm back, and I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, little brief uh, slideshow of uh, the film Provia 400X with the Ricoh GR1V. Uh, like I said, I didn't push the film uh, or pull it because, I mean, the slide film was already at ISO 400, uh, so there's no need to push it. Um, Handled pretty well the with the camera. This Rico handled pretty well with the film. Um, uh, things I would suggest for this film is not to use it in daytime, broad daylight. Uh, if you want, if you want to shoot film in broad daylight, just go ahead and use a black and white film. Um, for for uh, night photography, I'll definitely shoot this film. Um, night street photography, whatever you want to call it, it's awesome film. Um, 
the only drawback to this film, like I said, if you were to buy it new from uh, any film store, it's really expensive. Uh, last time I mentioned, or last time I quoted at 12 or 13 bucks the, uh, per roll, uh, last time I looked was like yesterday, and it was like uh, almost $18, $18 per roll. And that's kind of pricey. That's really pricey. So you have to really uh, take your time with this film, uh, shoot it. I was kind of in a rush to like you know show you guys and and uh, develop it and uh, show you guys the results. But this film, you definitely want to take your time and don't shoot it quick because it's, it's kind of it's really expensive. Plus, you have to pay for the processing, E6 process, uh, and the chances are there's not going to be a local lab near you. Uh, lucky for me, I live in LA and uh, I developed mine at uh, Icon in uh, West LA on Wilshire, Wilshire. And they do a pretty good job. I like their customer service and they, I, I go there often. Um, but then again, that's an, an, an additive and a uh, additional cost to shooting this film. So let's say you're shooting, it's already 18 bucks a roll plus another $8, you're looking at $26 total to uh, shoot and develop this film. And like I said, it's really pricey, but um, if you can find a deal online, uh, eBay, I bought these from eBay and they're expired. Uh, that's one way to go about it. Uh, these expired in 2010 and I still got the same results. And I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I got, I've got, i got eight more rolls to go and uh, with those I'm going to take my time and shoot them and get some great results. And uh, I'll show you guys the results too. It might take a year. No, <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna take, but uh, but like I said, this is good, good, uh, good film. I like it. If you can find it on 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 eBay for a great deal, buy it. And I hope you enjoyed my little video with the Provia 400X.